Hi, my beautiful people. It's Evelyn. Today I am not doing a um, tutorial. I mentioned before that I wanted to um, share some of the ornaments that I made in the past. Even though I had some um, videos on these ornaments or I happened to take pictures as, as you know, people's group. But I wanted to do it this way so you can get a better um, view and if you have any questions and, to, and also I want to mention wh what I use you know on my embellishments so I'm going to start off with this one here it's a lot guys <laughs> all right there you go now the pink is for the girls and the blue is for the boys and I know you see a lot of these Pictures, they're not, yeah, they, they, my grandkids, my kids, my mom, hobby, you know, the family. I mean, I, I have more family, but I can't fit, you know, too much on my Christmas tree. But anyway, this is, this is one of the one I, I made, I think, two years ago. Oh, well, yeah, about two years ago. And it came out so beautiful. That's my younger um, granddaughter, Soraya. And the materials that I use is Everything's going to be the same. I'm just going to describe, you know, like, I'm just going to, like, glance it so you can just look at individual picture. But they're all the same, That you know, the way I did it. But you know the thick felt that they sell in Michaels? Well, that's what I use uh, when I did my die cut. And I'll tell you what die cut is this. Like I mentioned, I own a Aqua Cut. I'll put the link down. Yeah, this is how big the die cut is. And I'm going to give you the measurement. This is the slit. Um, the one that I did for these, this ornament, is, matter of fact, great. It's got, the, it's got the image. It looks like this. And I'm going to give you the measurement of this um, ornament that I made. From the top to the point. This is like 10 inches long. And then from side to side, 7 inches. It's a pretty big ornament. But like I said, I have a 7 foot Christmas tree and it's so full that I can even add more. And like I said before, my goal is to remove um, Dollar Tree ornaments or anything like, you know, that I bought from the Dollar Tree, even though they are beautiful. But I only want in my tree is handmade ornaments by me because um, I would love in the future that these ornaments go from generation to generation. That's my goal. Now, yes, I'm going to upgrade the pictures because I don't want the same pictures, you know, because they don't look like this right now. This is when they were younger. So, yes, I am going to. And, and behind here, I didn't make it permanent. So it could give me the option where I could remove that picture and put another picture over there. So that's why I keep it like this. So look how beautiful this are. This is the oval. And these here are the Tim Hall poinsettias that comes with the embossing. I love that. I just really, really love it. I matter of fact, I made a few by self hanging on the trees. I don't I can't find it. Like I guess I I picked the ones that I had access to it because I got everything in the attic. So I started to bring everything down so I can share this with you guys. So this is one, this is two, look how pretty, this is my other granddaughter, Leilani, she's seven. This one here is four, I'm sorry, six. Then you have Lavea, she's seven. And then you got me. <laughs> and this is my sister, uh, she was the second oldest, she had passed away. Um, well, she's part, she don't, I, I, I did her. And uh, this is my youngest daughter, Chrissy. This is my oldest daughter. I have a daughter that's 40, 43 she is. Yeah, she's 43. She looks good. She don't look like this right now because she had lost a little bit of weight. That's why it says I have to update these pictures. But that's my oldest. And the queen of all roots, It's this is my mommy. She's 90 years old and she's still with us. I have lost my father. And, oh. Well, I love this woman. That's my queen. And then this one here is 
the oldest of the granddaughters. She's 21. She's in college in upstate Rome. So that's my Alexis. And this is my nephew. Look at the blue one. And like I said, I put icicles that I got from Michael's with the 70% um, all the Christmas items when they go and sell to 75 cents. I rack up on everything I can get my hands on. Trust me. Like any embellishment, especially with the branches and the rock candy kind of texture, I grab them all. So, like I said, everything all the same. And then these here, I call them like the, the series or something like that. But it's so pretty because it's white. So I just add that on with a, a pretty little flower that has, and this is from the dollar store, the, um, the little flower in the center. And then you see how I put the, that, um, the yarn that makes everything look like snow. I put it around the circle on this one. This is my nephew. I raised him up. He's like a son to me. Um, I raised him when he was five years old. He lost his mother. And this is hubby. Maybe. And this is my other grandson. He lives in Florida. That's Jay. G.I. I I call him. <laughs> and this one here is Christian. He was a foster care. I mean a foster. He was a foster child. And uh, we had him since he was one. And he went back with moms when he was five. It was very heartbroken. But we still keep in touch. He still calls me grandma. So we, we I'm grateful that I'm able to still keep in touch with Christian. So this is the ornaments that I made. It's a bunch, you see, and they're all ready to. The only thing, like I said, is I might have to um, upgrade the pictures. So I might do that this week or next week. So I'm going to put this one to the side, and I'm going to go into my next one. And like I said, this is what it, this is, this is the die cart. They, at the cart, let me see if they have the name on here. Let me see if you can see it. You see the name right here? Um, hold on. If you're interested, um, it's matter of fact, it just says Christmas ornament number three. I think this is, they have different sizes, and I think this was the biggest one. It's shaped like this, and then it actually cut the circle one too. It's really pretty. I love it. It's, it's expensive, but if you catch it on sale, it's worth it. And um, I love my machine. The, the most expensive was was the machine because the machine was five hundred dollars. All right, so let's move on to the next one. Now, I also have the sled. I'm so glad they showed the image. I didn't even realize that. Now, this is another big die cut, which I haven't started making ornaments because this is one of them. I know it's big, like it says, because I would never put anything big if I know it's going to look crazy on my Christmas tree. This is, like I said, my picture is pretty big and it can handle all these big ornaments. And even if it didn't, I'm going to make it fit. <laughs> but each of these ones, I don't know if I'm going to make it this year or next year because I have a lot on my plate. But I'm also going to put a picture and I'm going to show you the one that I made as a 3D. But I'll give you the size on this die cut. I'm going to show you measure from here to here. Yeah, I say this is 10 and a half from here to here and maybe from here to here let me see and the seven inches so it's a really good it's a pretty big size you can make books uh, like a set book kit like that anything you can do anything but that's another one and this one here is called slit number two from Acucard okay that's one. Oh, let me show you what I made out of that Okay, I know I, I think I, I think I showed it in my other videos when I was doing the Christmas tour. I'm not sure if you, you know, but now you get to see it in person. So what I did was I created this slide like a CD box. So what I did was I cut two of these out and you have many ways of doing this. I think if I were to do a next one. I think I would, you know these things from the Dollar Tree? It's a square box anyway, and you can put the candlestick. But what I did here is I put one side here and one side here. And then inside, I took some chipboard and made a box, kind of like a box, but they were three pieces. So you get the back piece, you get the front piece, and you get the, I'm sorry, the back piece, 
the ground in the bottom and then on the front of the um, sled you got you have um, three pieces of cardboard and that's what make it as a 3d if I were to do this again I would like to try this here and do it this way just to give you a DIY you know like because I think some of these images can be free if you happen to go into a site where they have free images and just cut them out if you kind of like interested in doing it this way so um, yeah you can do one side here one side here and just just put your decorator like this one here I have a, I have a mini Santa that sits on this sled and this sled goes on to my fire on top of my fireplace so these are handmade. Um, the ones I have, these little balls came from Dollar Tree. You got the yarn, looked like it's a lot of snows. And then the, um, the greeny that I got also from Michael's on sale. Then you got these little pearl beads that hangs out. Uh, these ones I made out of tutu. Okay, and then in the bottom you have these, um, they call teardrop, uh, God, um, teardrop string beads. I got these at the 99 cent store. I wish I had a loose, a loose one. I thought I did. should have run it out. So you can see what I'm talking about. You know, to find it right now, it's going to be a pain. I should have took it out. But anyway, um, yeah, I got that one from, so what I did in this, uh, and then the, I call these candy rocks. I don't know if you're able to see that. The candy rocks. I'm not going to shoot myself because I look horrible. I did my hair and I haven't even blown it out yet. So this side is the same as this side. So I didn't make anything different. And then uh, the Dollar Tree, they sell the um, the reindeers only his head. So what I did was, and then he had silver. They only had gold. So what I did is I painted in white. I deco I used my potch and then I dip it on white glitter. So now it gave me that silver white color. And then I just bellish she or he up so it can look really cute okay so this is the this is the slide that I made with that with this die right here okay look how pretty so I didn't do that much I mean I think I think hope they did it but it looks beautiful such when I have Santa sitting on it and I have a candle so it's really really pretty okay let me get to the next one Boy, I'm going to have to put all these things away <laughs> because Christmas is not even here. But I want to just be, show it to you now so like that I can continue doing other videos because I did say I was going to do this. All right, these are pine cones. And I'm, I'm talking about the original. My um, family lives in the Mount Poconos and you know over there they got the big trees and you have pine cones all over and different shape, different size. So my granddaughter, Leilani, came to New York to visit me and she bought me a bag, I'm talking about a bag full of pine corn. So what I did was, is I bleached it overnight just so I can kill any bacteria or any animal that's inside this pine corn. So that's what I did overnight so it's nice and clean. So I, and I think I have a tutorial on how I did this. If I do, I'll put the link below. But very simple, very simple. Some of them, like this one here, I got carried away putting pearls. And then I put the dangling bees. And then I got a flower in the center. And you see how the pearl bees is? Yes, it took time because I actually covered them up. Each little petal had a, has, um, um, of pearls and the reason why they open up I noticed because when I got them they were closed but when you dip it in water and keep it over for some reason it opened up and I was happy for that so I have this one I have a I have a, a few a few this almost the same way a little different some of them doesn't have the pearls some of them do oh let me show you right here all right so I'll put that link down let me show you one more I think this is the first one that I made, and I think this one's my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, this is the one that I, I actually made. Look how pretty. You see how the pearls go in inside? So pretty. Then I put some bead dangling, and then some crystal in the bottom. And I just use fish lines, so you won't see when I hang it up. 
So that that's um that's that's uh, another ornament that I made. Then these are these are the ones I'm showing too is in the pan. So I already shared with you guys. You know what? I have one more extra. Maybe I should just pick a name and maybe you can own one of these little things. I'll get back to you guys and, uh, and see how I can do it because I know there's a lot of these. But one is better than nothing, right? If I can make a second one, I'll do a second one. So at least we have two people can win this little beautiful ornament that's already made. I'm going to do that because I have an extra one. All right, let me see the next one. Next one. Um, oh, okay. I'm going to do now all this. I'm not going to show because like I said, they're almost all the same. Just a little bit different with their names on it and their pictures. Uh, these are the Stampin' Up! Um, die cuts. I don't know if they sell them. I'm not sure because like I said once I was a demonstrator at that time. Um, I haven't gone to step enough to see if they still have it. But if you know any demonstrator and they still have it, this is beautiful. And the measurement on this one is a great size. From, from the top to the bottom is like six and a quarter. And from the, from the side to the tip of the toes, it's five inches. So it's it's a very good size. The only problem is, guys, that I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna do double the work because I want to change the color. I'm trying to see where I cannot disturb. Maybe paint it. I, I don't know. I'm I'm working on this because I don't want red no more on my Christmas tree. So yes, I'm going to redo this. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, and I promise once I finish, I'll show you the finished look. So I, I have a whole bunch of felt, white felt. Maybe if I can take some of these out and just slip on the white felt and then put them all back in exception of the red rose because I don't want um, the red rose. So, and, you know, everything else would be white. But that's the only thing, you know, that I had. Because this was, I think this one here was the, the first or the second ornament. I'm not sure, but I think this, this is like three years. This one is three years ago. So it's time to, um, I want to change the color and update the pictures. So these are my, the other ornaments of my family. I, you know, I feel so good when I make something like this because I know in my heart that, you know, God forbid, nobody ever know. But you know what it is to uh, carry a piece of something that belongs to the root of all, like, you know, my mom, she's the root of everything. And we have certain things that she had gave to us. And we treasure it. I want them, my kids and my grandkids to, they, I told them, please, let this travel. All the ornaments that I made from generation to generation, I want that to travel. So I hope they respect that part. All right, going on to the next one, birdhouse. Oh, my God, here. Look at my birdhouse. I made this out of scratch, actually out of scratch. Now, the only problem, to be honest with you guys, oh, let me just show you a plain one. I didn't use toilet paper roll, or did I? I probably did, and I went over. Yes, I did use toilet paper roll for the this part right here. I cannot pronounce this um, texture here. Quarter, I can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry. I'll put it down. But anyway, I think I also have a tutorial on this one. I'll put the link down so you can check that one out. This is the finished look. And I don't know if I show you this technique to make that icicle. It's a, it's a pretty good. This is on the glue stick. I tell you, glue stick is my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> but I made an icicle out of it, and it, in person it looks so pretty, so pretty. So I made that one. I can't. I think I made twelve of them, and they some of them are the same, some of them are not. It's like I like this here. I got the butterfly here, a flower. What I did was I brushed it with chalk paint so you can give it that vintage old, you know, birdhouse. So um, I just realized that I am missing a stick here. Hmm. Okay, that's a, well, they all like that. Oh, no, I'm sorry. 
I don't know what, what what's the purpose of this one. No, they don't. But they got bees, glass bees, flower. I made a, you see how I did the hole? So it can look like a, a, a illusion of a hole that's inside there. So um, this is what I did. This one has the burr. Okay, so this is what I did. Uh, this is one of my ornaments. And trust me, the amount that I make is enough for all my family to get. You know, just put it that way. And if I do make extra, it'll probably be for some friends and other family. But I make enough to, you know, so they won't fight over it if anything were to happen to me. <laughs> okay, next one. I'm not going to take them off. There's so much of these. I made these, uh, you know, the, the plastic one that they sell in dollar store. I, I make, I like, I don't like to, like I said, I don't like to overwhelm. It depends on what I'm working on. Like this one right here. I just like it simple. So I made some of these too. Look how pretty. Some of them look really ventious. And what's so good about it is plastic. So I don't have to worry about it. If it falls, it's going to break. I made big ones, and I made some small ones. So this is what it looks like. I don't think I have a tutorial on this one, but at least I know this is handmade. So I made that one. I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I show you the ornaments, the slat. Oh, now I think I'm finished. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. There's one more. It's not an ornament, but it's something that I have hanging on my fireplace. Okay. Now, this one here, of course, I trade. I don't know. I, I can't tell you what type of material. It's like a batten, but like a felt batten that is thick enough where you can draw it and cut it out. I can't. I don't know the texture of this, but... I went, I like this, I traced this over that um, batten that I had. And then once I was finished, I kind of dubbed it. I didn't want to stuff it because it was not, I didn't want it to be puffy. So I just dubbed it and just made that blanket stitch in and out, in and out. And that's why I went around. Then, you know, the, the Dollar Tree poinsettias, the candy rock, uh, candy rock. That's what I call them. I had in crystal and pink with the glitter bees and some wedding and um, African that I put down. So I make this one. So, so what this one does, it hangs on my chimney. So I have this one here. And then this one here, I did hand free because I don't have, a, I don't have a, a, a die cut for this one. So I just took a paper plate. And I just made a circle and I did the same thing, you know, double it, sold it together, didn't stuff it. And look how pretty that one comes out. This is also hangs in my, um, in my fireplace. This is, I made that tutu flower. And this one here, I think it's from the recollection. I'm not sure, but it's wood chip and it, it's so pretty. It has um, sparkles. And this, it, look, like, it looks like the, um, it, it looks like it was embossed, like, with, you know when you emboss, uh, embossing powder, that's the, actually the texture of this um, star looks like, so pretty. And then I put underneath, I took some nice pretty trends of, you know, what I had on stash. So I made that one. And then this one, <laughs> you're going to see, okay, you know our, um, the hot knitted, what do you call hot? No, God, I can't get it out of my mouth. The, the pot holder, you know, the mint one. Well, anyway, I traced the ones that I have in my kitchen onto this felt. I sewed it up, did the same thing, added my flowers that I made, put some other flowers um, using Tim Hoare poinsettias, uh, also the Rocky Can, um, what is it called? The, oh, God, Candy Rock, I don't know. But behind here is a pretty trim. Um, if you put close up, you can actually see it. But, oh yeah, you can see it. And then um, under that uh, snowflake, you also got a piece of trim over here too. So look how pretty that one is. Yeah, guys. 
take you all, you can trace these things, and I think it's so cute. I fell in love when I did this. I said, you know what, I'm going to make me one of these hot pot holders. <laughs> but yeah, so I have all these, all this three, I have them, like I say, hanging from my fireplace. Um, what else? What else? I want to make sure that I cover everything up. I show you that oh one more now this one here like I said between the sled and this one here I'm not sure if I'm going to do with this here because like I said I have a lot of my play I'm still working on my um, seashells because I haven't completed those because I want to add those on my tree this year so maybe next year if I'm still around God bless everyone and myself uh, this is going to be my, my partridge for this one and my sled Wherever I put that sweat at, because every time I move something around, it just disappears. Because I just had it with me, so. Okay, I'm not going to do it. But you saw, you already saw what I said, right? So, but this one, this Christmas tree is also belongs to Aki Cut. I have so much die cuts, guys. You got to see from this, from this Aki Cut. I have dresses, I have t-shirt, I have onesies, I have a hat, a baby hat. Um, I have beautiful frames. Oh my god, I got so many dies. It's unbelievable. But this one here, it measure nine and a half from the tip of that um, tree to the bottom. Let me do the bottom part. Uh, and this is eight and a quarter. And pretty good size. Really, you can imagine what you could do. I'm also going to do a 3D with the way I did the sled on the 3D. I'm definitely going to do that. If I don't do the ornaments, I'm going to definitely do a 3D and use that this year. So if I get to do that, I probably will do a tutorial and then show you how I did it. But the only thing is that I am going to do something different. Hold on. I am going to use that, uh, that iron... Oh my God, I hate putting things away because then I don't know where I'm putting them at. I'm just throw, oh, here we go. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let me put this right here. All right, I'm definitely going to use this one here. Hold on, because I'm on my, I'm actually on my um, knife cut. I'm trying to rush this so I don't have to, you know, keep you guys bored to death. But anyway, look. So what I'm planning to do is I'm going to do it like this. So now I'll have one on this side and then on this side. Just just imagine just how it's going to be. The only thing, yes, it will have an opening. Maybe I'll have some dangling coming down or maybe I'll cover this up. I don't know. I'm going to play with it and see what I come up with. So, yeah, this is uh, this is my die cut from AccuCard and what I made out of it. And I'm so happy that I'm able to share the stuff that I have, you know, that I made. If you if you, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. One more, one more. I told you, I, I got to remember these things. This one here. Guys, I'm, this is 25 years old. This real candy cane. This is, God, when I used to craft, I used to make soap between soap. And you know the um, rack shop, there's a store they used to call rack shop. I don't know if they have it, but I never knew about Michael and AC Moore. So I used to shop at this craft store they used to call rack shop. So I used to buy my materials over there. And I saw they had a class on this. So I took it. And it was simple, so simple. Because all you do is run your open lace. Just That's it. And just embellish it with some beads. But this is 25 years ago, my first ornament on my tree. And I still have it to this day. And you know what? I'm going to make more. Because I, 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 I haven't seen this. Even every time I take all my stuff out to put on my tree, I, was, you know, it, I, didn't, I didn't remember it until I saw it. So, oh my goodness, where have you been? You know, I thought it got lost or something like that. Because I did have a few, but of course, you know, you got... Your moms, your sister, they just take it out of that Christmas tree. So luckily I was able to have one. But I think I want to make a few of these because they were simple. They were really, really simple. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on this so you guys can do this with me. Yeah, so that's it. Hopefully that's it. 
thank you so much for watching. I'm like I said, I'm happy that I'm able to show you some of my ornaments and, and, and the die cuts that I have. If you have any questions, again, comment below. Thumbs up for the new people that happen to dump over. Please subscribe and hit that black bell. Until now, I'll speak to you soon.